Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to make an albedo map out of a diffuse map. I have a Game Textures account, so when I downloaded this texture from Game Textures, I got the albedo and the diffuse, which was a great opportunity to create a tutorial on how to make a, a decent albedo out of a diffuse map. So, to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this diffuse layer and we are going to desaturate it by pressing Control u and bringing down the saturation then we're going to invert the image by pressing Control i now that we've done that we have all of the cavity information um, reversed so all of the dark areas are actually light so let's go ahead and turn on soft light and what we'll get is lightened dark areas and uh, darkened light areas. So it really does a good job leveling out the uh, diffuse of all lighting information. Let's go over to the albedo and just compare them real quick. They look fairly similar except um, the diffuse is looking a little bit too saturated. So let's bump it down maybe f four notches, maybe five. That that looks alright. It might need to go a little bit more. Maybe a tad bit more. Just take the edge off of it a bit. Actually, that might have been too much. Yep, too much. And that looks alright. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to come over to another image, which I found off of the Marmoset Toolbag 2 main page f when you search... Uh, when you search PBR in practice, that's what it was. PBR in practice. You'll come up with a site and you can find this image. I'll link it in the description as well as many other resources to get you guys going on the right track of PBR. So, grab the paintbrush and let's look for some kind of rock. This this will probably do. It's just general rock. Hold Alt and let's go ahead and grab the albedo. This is albedo, uh, metallic, and roughness. I just grab the albedo because that's what I want and I actually did this earlier so let's go ahead and redraw this and now we have this uh, little image what we're going to want to do now is open up the histogram window which you can click there and I have it over here now what we can do is switch it over to luminosity to get the correct luminosity on our albedo texture we have here is a mean of 147 median of 147. Let's come back over to a, our rock canyon layers diffuse. So we had 147 for both and we have 129 here. When we come over to the albedo it's actually quite a bit lower uh, 125. So what I, I want to do is maybe strike a middle ground uh, between this albedo texture and the supposedly physically correct albedo texture for rock. So the way we're going to do that is just pull up the levels by pressing Control L. We're just going to crank up this, or crank down this value a bit to uh, increase the luminosity and you can actually see the values changing in real time right over there. Or almost real time. So that about 136 looks good. You can actually see the before and after here. The um, darkened part is the before. The lighter part is the after. We have uh, about a 136 luminosity which is in between the 147 and 125 of the two other images. We press OK. Now you can see the darkened background went away and now when we switch between these we can see that this that our current um, albedo is a little bit lighter than this one 
but it does look very similar other than that there is still a tad bit of um, tad bit of ambient occlusion that I would remove separately but uh, since this is a tutorial I'm not going to worry about doing that and when we come over here then that so that's pretty much it guys um, that is how you make an albedo texture from a diffuse texture pretty simple um, it's not as good as getting an albedo texture straight from um, the the software that you're making it but it is the next best thing if you're trying to use a photo source and no one's used a polarizing lens so I hope this tutorial really helped you guys um, please like comment and sub subscribe if you like the video I'm gonna link a bunch of PBR stuff in the description and so if this didn't fill some kind of gap in your guys's knowledge um, the links in the description should definitely help uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.